Russia pumping millions into US-based propaganda outlets. Here's a summary of the article. These are just some of the ways critics are describing Texas new law allowing people to carry handguns in public without a permit a Republican achievement that many local officials say has already led to a spike in spontaneous shootings in highly populated parts of the state. Recent debates over gun laws in Texas have not been limited to handgun licensing. After the Supreme Court struck down New York's restrictive licensing program, a federal court in Texas found that a state law barring adults under 21 from carrying a handgun was unconstitutional. In the process, journalist Mark Joseph Stern argued, they enlarged the scope of the Second Amendment and made it harder for voters around the U.S. to protect communities by enacting gun safety laws through the democratic process. Years before making it easier to carry handguns in public, Texas Republicans turned their state into one of the 29 nationwide with so-called stand your ground laws. Last week in Florida, which became the first state to enact a shoot first law by statute in 2005, a man and his teenage son were arrested for attempted murder after allegedly shooting at a woman whom they suspected of being a burglar. There are more guns than people in the U.S., and due to National Rifle Association bankrolled Republicans' opposition to meaningful gun safety laws, it remains relatively easy for people to purchase and carry firearms in many states. This post received a score of 18,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Oh, I know. When the Ukrainian forces started really taking territory back, all of a sudden there were a million stories and comments about how Americans are suddenly tired of supporting Ukraine's war. Funny how the two things went hand in hand. That's certainly when underscore I underscore would logically be tired of an action. As soon as it was going well and seemed to be giving the results I'd hoped for. Nothing fishy about that at all. And a very realistic possibility with this election that Republicans might block funding to Ukraine if they win House and or Senate. It seems most Republicans, politicians and voters, seem to want to be less aggressive on Russia in general. I'm curious if the voters really know why they feel that way too. Well, you know, I'd rather be Russian than a Democrat, and all. A ton of Republican politicians ran to Moscow to kiss Putin's ring back in 2016 when Trump got elected including Rand Paul. I think it's very telling that, when it was revealed just how badly Trump compromised national security, Rand Paul pushed to repeal the Espionage Act. The dipshit's hands are probably personally tainted. Or when a bunch of Republican politicians went to Russia on the 4th of July that one year. Or when the NRA was busted for moving large amounts of money from Russia to Republican politicians' pockets. Yep, and have been for years. Why would they stop now? because I ask them nicely. So it's your fault this hasn't stopped sooner. Or yours you didn't ask at all. Oh I know. They're here on Reddit too. Yeah the Russian shill influx dropped for a short while when the sanctions started but now with the upcoming midterms they're back in full force. But to be fair the GOP is Russia's strongest ally, so he wants them to win. Democrats are trying to pass $50 billion of military aid for Ukraine and Republicans intend to block it if they get in. $10 million on propaganda is cheap at the price for Russia if it costs their enemy $50 billion. Jeez. Can you imagine how much money is being saved by letting Russia commit suicide in Ukraine for only $50 billion? The sheer potential savings from not having to posture outside of Russian borders 24-7 for decades on end might let Americans finally get health care. U.S. will never lower military spending. Twitter bots. Reddit users. Over the last few weeks, I've noticed numerous accounts, usually one month old, which are reposting old material, while scrambling a couple of letters in the title. This is karma farming in a way that can be easily automated, and it's obviously spiking. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.